ask Brother Lyle Jeffs to speak to us, please. It's truly my privilege and honor to be here. I pray that Heavenly Father will take charge of my mind and thoughts, that I can be of some benefit to you. My mind is drawn to our prophet this morning. And if the Lord will help me, maybe draw a little bit of an illustration on what he does for us each day. And then compare it to what a father does. Our prophet is always constantly in tune with the Spirit of God. It dictates his mind. And the difference between him being prepared and those of us that are not is that he acts on those inspirations. He has allowed the Spirit of God to cultivate and to mold his character. And so when the Spirit of God, or when a prompting comes from our Heavenly Father, which is continual to him now, it's an automatic reaction to study it out in his mind and then carry it out as a directive. So what we need to do we are all blessed with these very same gifts. If you'll remove from your mind, and this is what our prophet is striving to get us to do, remove from our mind the desires of the flesh and the distractions that are all around us. Yes, we have responsibilities to do, and your work around the home and wherever you may be is a part of what Heavenly Father has for you to do. But through the way that you put a buffer between your activities in the world and keeping sensitive to the Spirit of God is that prayer. That prayer is your buffer. That's your shield to keep your mind focused on and keep your listening ears on to the promptings as they come to you. And with that prayer, we'll give you the ability to keep your mind focused and then study it out in your mind and find out through asking Heavenly Father, because He wants you to ask for all that you give, all that He gives you. You ask, Heavenly Father, how should I carry this out? And then He'll give you another prompting. And this is how our Father goes, our Prophet goes through the day, from one prompting to the next. And that's why He is always right. And you have an opportunity to have access to that same avenue of blessings in the Spirit through praying for your Father. For He is striving with all of His heart to act and to live the very same way. The first thing He does when He wakes up in the morning is He reaches to Heavenly Father in gratitude for another day. Another day to be close to do something for the prophet and one of the most important things he can do and the thing that he strives with probably the most is what can I do for my family he yearns he prays and he strives to know what his family needs to do next in order to be a peaceful united group of people that will be an encouragement to the prophet when the prophet thinks about him Nothing encourages a father more than to have the testimony that his family is a support to the prophet. That is what he lives for, is to rally you children through teaching and extending what the prophet teaches him so that you can have an understanding on what the prophet is striving to accomplish. Your father loves you so much. Your mothers are an extension of your father. They love you so much. So the things that they ask you to do is only for your good. 
So my counsel or my offering to you this morning is to begin to get close to your Father. He is striving to live in the image of our prophet. And if we can accomplish this, Heavenly Father will have a group of people under our prophet that can go forward and accomplish the great work that's being offered to this people to redeem Zion, to establish a society that can bless all of the people that have gone before in the earth, to further their blessings who are in heaven, further their blessings so that they can carry on of an opportunity for a people that has never been offered before. Let's be encouraged. Let's do what Uncle Warren is teaching us to do. He is the mouthpiece of our prophet at this time. He has set a perfect example of unity. If they can do it, we can do it. The Heavenly Father will open the way if you'll simply rely on Him. I pray that I and my family can be a support and an encouragement. I know you can if you decide to. You just make that choice and that determination. And live through prayer in all that you do. Which I pray we may be an encouragement to our prophet through our good works. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen.